Hello Internet, it's nice to be back with a new lesson series on ES6. In the first lesson, we are going to learn about arrow functions. So here you see a normal function written in ES5. It accepts two parameters A and B and it returns A plus B. So let's write the same thing using arrow functions. So variable, I'm going to call this arrow function. First thing, inside the two parentheses, I accept the two parameters a and b and then I have the arrow function then I have my curly brackets in there I write my return statement a plus b easy as that now there you are that's an arrow function so one thing to note is if you are only returning this uh, function you don't have to type in the return stick keyword you can remove that and bring this all up on one line so now you don't have the curly brackets you have the two parameters and the return statement a plus b so let's assume that this function only takes in one parameter then you can remove this as well and you can see a plus some string that's another function for you so that's quite easy. Now you know how to write arrow functions in ES6. Another thing that arrow function brings is that it makes you avoid this problem. Okay, let's say we have a person function that has a age property zero. And we have a set interval and inside that set interval we have a function grow up and where we increment the age by one in every second. So normal in ES5, what we have to do is we have to use this and assign it to that another variable and put that that dot age to equal to zero. Now we have to use that age plus plus. This is because in ES5 normal functions has their own this. But in ES6, if you're using arrow functions, you don't have to do this because the same this is similar is the same as this here inside the function so let's do that let's change this to arrow function remove the function put in our arrow and let's get rid of these comments and we can use this this dot age and we can remove this as well and can we can see this age simple as that okay that covers this lesson uh, i would encourage you to go to mozilla foundation and view the docs on arrow functions here you can see all the, all what i've taught and a little bit more okay have fun guys see you on the next one